G'day Tim, Nick here from Advantage Cars. Just doing that walk around video for you on our Peugeot 508 here. Um, so we'll start up on the uh, the passenger side guard here. So generally condition on it is really nice. No obvious scratches that I can see on this guard. Coming around to the front bonnet here. The bonnet is really, really nice. There's the odd stone chip and stuff. Like if you get really close, you can see there just where we've like touched up the odd little stone chip and stuff on there. But I mean, that's that's it. It's always going to have the odd stone chip on it, being a New Zealand new car and driving on New Zealand roads. Um, along the front bumper here, much the same. Bit of water on there. Just this uh, weather's still not perfect here yet. You got front sensors along the uh, the bumper there as well. But generally it's really nice and tidy overall. Sensors on the outside there as well. It's up on the driver's side guard. Much the same story as the other one. Really, really nice along the edges there. Taking a look at the driver's door here. It's really, really nice. Can't see anything obvious on there. Yeah, the mirror cap on here as well for you. Obviously the car's just a little bit dirty at the moment, so it gets a full groom inside and out as well. I'm up along the pillar here again tiny little like stone chips there that were sort of touched up but really really small sort of marks but nothing much obviously got the big uh, glass panoramic roof on this one which is really really nice obviously needs a bit of a clean there <laughs> sitting outside for a, uh, a little bit now but yeah along the other uh, back door here again really really nice as well nothing obvious to note on there maybe like a little couple of little marks just there but that's sort of it, that's just tiny little uh, little blemishes here and there. And on the back guard here, it's really really nice. To the rear bumper as well. It's all good, we'll go around the back here, you've got your, uh, your rear sensors, you've got your reversing camera, you've got your tow bar. So you've got all your bits and pieces on this one. Really really tidy. If anything you've got a little bit of a mark just there. So we'll, we'll touch that up, it just looks like it, the paint's cracked ever so slightly, so we'll touch that up for you as well. Uh, the tow bar itself has got some ratings on there, so see those there for you. So back round to the uh, driver's side here, our oh, passenger side again, sorry. Um, again, pillars are really, really nice, rear guard. Much the same story. The car's really nice overall. Really nice and tidy. Okay, what have we got on the back uh, passenger door. Really, really nice. Nothing obvious that I can see on this one. Along the uh, passenger front door. Much the same story. Really, really nice. Is there maybe a little bit of something just there? You see just a little little blemish there again, but nothing much on it at all. Um, what we'll do is we'll pop round and have a look inside now. So I'll pop round into the uh, drawers. Here's the door card for you. Really, really nice condition on the door card. Popping inside here. Obviously, it gets a full clean, so all that's going to be all vacuumed and stuff. But the the seats themselves are really nice. That was when we talked on the phone, that was sort of the um, slight sort of discoloration I was mentioning. It's not ripped or anything like that, it's just sort of a little worn just on that bolster piece there. But overall, the seats are really, really nice. Down there, seats again on the passenger side, down into the carpet and stuff like that. Center console lid is really nice. Inside here, as you see, you've got two keys with this one as well. Really, really nice overall. All your steering wheel controls and everything. The wheel itself is pretty nice as well. No chunks missing out of it or anything like that. Just you've got a little bit of wear just here, but it's not very noticeable at all. Um, you see buttons there and you've got uh, some buttons and controls just there too. And then obviously you've got your big um, 
your roof controls up here and lights and stuff that's all for the panoramic roof which obviously you can see uh, see through there which is a, and that's controllable as well there's a big shade here that will open and close um, which you know you can control it different at different levels um, along there electronically so it's really nice okay popping it into the back seat here okay back door cards really nice obviously you've got the rear um rear blinds built in there as well the seats on this one really really nice bit of dirt there that that, that will get groomed out for you really nice seat condition on these they basically look yeah, pretty much unused um, carpets as well really really nice backs of the front seats as well are nice and tidy no kids uh, clawing them up or anything like that you've got rear uh, sort of vent controls there as well and they are a 12 volt port right pop round and open up the boot for you So, there you go, there's a the boot, heaps of space in there. Nice and tidy as well. You're gonna have a little bit of scratching and stuff on the uh, the silver place here, just sliding bits and pieces in and out. But really, really nice. Other than that, you've got the, uh, the cover blind there as well. Um, you can also fold the rear seats down from the back here, which, you know, makes it a bit easier than clambering around the side. Um, under here, there is a another door and then under that there you go you got your spear all in under there and that looks really really nice as well all tucked away there for you let's fold that back down nicely and we'll close this and i'll show you under the bonnet as well so we'll pop around oh firstly actually i'll show you i'll run around the tires so i haven't done that one yet so the rims themselves aren't too bad. This one has got a bit of curbing damage on it. This is the driver's front. Um, as far as tread goes though, plenty of tread in there on them. So really, really good tread on the tire. Go back to the driver's rear. And that's sort of much the same, less curbing, a little bit still, but generally pretty tidy overall. A little bit there as well. Um, and again, good tread on this one for you as well. So not too bad overall popping round to the passenger side start at the passenger rear so again bits of curbing on it nothing too major but you know it's still there all the same um, but again plenty of tread on the tires and stuff as well so that's nice overall and then the passenger front is again the same a bit of curbing on it but generally, it's pretty nice and tidy. And you've got some decent tread on the tyres there as well. So, no, generally, overall, it's nice and tidy. Um, and yeah, I'll quickly pop that boot open for you, um, which is open from the passenger side, being a Euro. So, around to there. Now, one thing I have just noticed is in the light, you can sort of see just here, see there's sort of a touch up there that we've done on the, the paint and stuff and it's almost a little bit of a dent and stuff there just ever so slightly you can sort of see it in the uh, on the right light angle okay under the bonnet though we're all nice and tidy all under here it's really really nice overall all down the back and stuff you know all the heat shields still nice and shiny it's not coated in oil you can see all in there it's all, you know, all the right colour and stuff like that. Pop around this side in here as well. It's all really, really good. Pop in there for you as well. So, no, overall, it's a really nice car. Hood lining's all nice and intact there as well under the bonnet. So I'll pop that one shut for you again. But yeah, there we go, Tim. So that's the walk around on the uh, Peugeot we've got for sale. So, yeah, enjoy the video and uh, we'll chat soon. Alright, cheers.